How do you get people to care about the future? Well, you could pretend that you have a crystal ball and tell them that you know exactly how everything is gonna turn out. People tend to see through crystal balls. You can tell them everything is gonna be great and it's gonna be fine. You have all the answers, there's nothing to worry about. Some nice people in white lab coats or some clever young white guys in Silicon Valley are gonna figure it all out for you. Or you can tell them that things are not gonna be so great and that it's all getting screwed up and it's really too late and there's nothing to do. Those stories are a little two dimensional and people tend to be unmoved. Don't change anything, don't think about the future, don't feel a sense of responsibility or agency. So if you want people to care about the future, you need to do something more. You need to tell a story that we can step into, that we can feel part of. And the way you do that is with world building. This class is about how you make compelling futures by creating compelling future worlds. A good world is complicated. It has a foreground and a background. It has competing forces. It has different tensions. It has a set of systems just like our world does. So one of the ways that we'll be looking at future worlds in this class is the idea of the simulation. How do we create a model of a, of a universe, a model of a world, and understand how it ticks and how that impacts individual choices and, and actions and characters? Another important part of building a world is to make sure that it's not just a future, but a future with a past, that it has its own history. And if you think about our world today, we are always impacted by the past and our future is dictated by our past. The future and the past are two sides of the same coin. Another great thing about world building and creating these future worlds is that it then allows us to access our present in a different way. If we imagine systems that are different from the world we have now, that gives us a chance to assess, to test, to explore alternatives. It's very difficult sometimes to imagine a world that's different from our own because we can't step outside of this one, except in here. So finally, the best thing about world building and telling these stories about the future is that they help us decide how we should act today. Once you have that sense of responsibility, that sense of agency, you start to recognize how the changes you make now lead towards the world that you might actually want to see, the world, the future that you want to live in. We're gonna explore world building through novels, through video games, through movies, through immersive experiences, and most fun of all, we're gonna roll our own. We're gonna start developing our own future worlds, working collaboratively, engaging with all of the amazing people at the Center for Science and the Imagination, storytellers, science fiction writers, artists, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. So I hope you join me.